Yoo-hoo, Millie. Please open the door. I'm roasting out here. You better have some cool drinks and snacks ready for us. Oh, remember to turn on the AC too. What? Hold on. You just showed up unannounced again? Well, you don't sound too happy to see me though. I buzzed you on the intercom. Didn't you hear it? Don't bother installing one of those fancy gadgets if you're not going to use it. You're obviously home, so quit stalling and let us in. Or do we have to climb over the fence or something? All right, all right. Calm down and wait. But who's us? I brought the kids over to play, silly. I gotta get out of the house every once in a while or they'll drive me crazy. The little ones are complaining about it being hot and the last thing I want is to give them heat stroke. So chop chop and let us in already. We need some shade. You've got to be kidding me. What happened to you saying you weren't coming over this month? Yeah, but the kids kept begging and begging. I kind of had my hands tied with this one. Besides, you have that nice pool in the backyard that you built last year and it's a scorcher today. So there's no harm in letting them swim for a while. Don't worry though, I brought towels and they've got their swimsuits on, so we're all set. Wait a minute, just because you're prepared for the pool doesn't mean we are. I'm sorry, but today's really not a good day for this. I know you're already here, but can you please take the kids somewhere else? I really can't deal with having visitors today. It's nothing personal. Oh, come on. We came all this way just for you. And this is how you treat us? We're family. We're supposed to stick together. I didn't ask for you to come. You just showed up. The truth is, Carter's really not feeling well. He's in no shape to play with his cousins. And even if he was, he's staying at the hospital until his condition improves. So can you please take the kids and go so we can reschedule for when Carter's feeling better? Oh darn, that's too bad. You should have told me sooner. Well, that's okay. I'm sure the kids can still amuse themselves in the backyard. Don't mind us. I beg your pardon? By the way, we had to leave pretty early to get here, so I didn't have time to make the kids breakfast. So I'll just grab some stuff from the fridge, okay? All right, Sienna. I know you think you can come and do whatever you like, but when I ask you to leave and come back, it's not a suggestion. I've got a kid to worry about, and I'm really not in the mood to entertain guests right now, family or not. Go take your kids to a water park or something. I'm sure they'll have a great time. You're too funny. You realize what you're saying is hilarious, right? My brother owns this house, so it's like, where do you even get off calling it your house, you know? No. What are you talking about? That's exactly what this is. It's my house. I've been thinking about it for a while, but things have really been on the up and up for you ever since you moved into this new place, right? All of a sudden, you think you can tell me what to do? That you can look down on me like this is your castle and you're the queen or something? You think we're trash because we have to rent an apartment, don't you? Oh my god, you are accusing me of it. I never said anything like that. All I'm asking for is you to respect my boundaries for once before you barge into my home. How am I supposed to have any privacy when you come over every weekend without any notice? And what's so wrong with that? My brother said I could come over anytime and that's what I intend to do. Ugh, I'm sick of listening to the kids moan. I'm just going to let myself in, okay? It's too hot out to be standing here texting you like an idiot. And how exactly are you going to do that? I figured I might get locked out or show up when you weren't home at some point. So Parker was kind enough to give me a spare key. He gave you a key? Oh, don't mind us. We'll just be here for the weekend. You won't even notice we're here. Parker, we need to talk right now. Did you really give Sienna a spare key to our house? I don't remember agreeing to that at all. Can't you just shut up for once? Even on the weekend? You know I hate to be disturbed unless it's urgent. Yeah, well, it is important. That's why I'm bothering you. Your sister is here with her kids again, without any warning or invitation. And she refused to leave even after I asked her nicely. Even you, of all people, have to admit this is unacceptable. Are you kidding me? From what I'm hearing, you're the unacceptable one. She told me you kept her and the kids outside in the heat for almost half an hour, and she thought they were going to get a heat stroke. How can you not tell she's clearly exaggerating? I don't know what you were thinking, not letting our family into the house, but you need to get off your high horse, seriously. Her kids are the same age as yours, and they're thick as thieves. So why don't you learn a thing or two from them? I'd love to treat Sienna like a sister, but we need some basic boundaries. For my sake. I know she's your sister, but she's seriously a handful sometimes. Hey, Miley, she's my sister. 
How dare you say that? You think you can talk about her like that? I'm just saying, when you told me she'd come to visit, I didn't expect her to be here literally every weekend for entire days at a time, you know? I can handle making food for Carter, but taking care of her kids is just too much for me. And that's just meals. You can forget about snacks. Besides, her kids aren't exactly the nicest to Carter either. They're always snatching his toys and games from him. Do you know how many times I've had to cheer him up after they made him cry? So what? Kids can be cruel. It builds character. And he'll grow up into a strong man because of it. Not that you'd know anything about that. And these are the words that a husband, a father should say? Your sister is doing the bare minimum as a mom, by the way. She just throws them my way and then spends the whole time playing games on her phone. It's not cute or funny, and it's seriously pissing me off. Of course you'd blow a gasket over something so trivial. Have a little heart, Miley. You're seriously still defending her after everything I've said? Sienna is a single mother. She's got to support those kids on her income, and she can't afford to give them everything they need. Her life is hard enough as it is, and she deserves to have some relief in our home. She's family, and there will always be a place for her at our table. She's your sister, but what about me and Carter? Don't you care about our feelings? Even if it means our grocery budget spirals out of control, not to mention all the money I've had to spend to replace toys and things that her kids have broken over the years. They're toys. Of course, they're going to break. Don't make a big deal out of it. Do you even hear yourself? Besides, if we're going over budget, it's only because you suck at saving money. Don't try to blame your failures as a housewife on my poor little sister. Of course. No matter how I try to explain it to you, it's always going to be my fault with her, isn't it? All right, how's this for saving money? Why don't I ask Sienna to pay me back for all the extra food I have to buy because of her? If I ask nicely, I'm sure she'll reimburse me for all the snacks and juice boxes that weren't hers. And maybe I can dig out some more for those things that her kids broke. Get real, as if she'd ever do something so beneath her. I don't know if this is your sick idea of a joke, but I'm appalled. I can't believe I married such a disgrace. Maybe it's time we fix that. Wait, you wouldn't actually leave me over this, would you? I can't tolerate anyone who insults my honor as a brother, let alone a man. Not even my wife. We're supposed to give those kids what they need. That's what aunts and uncles are for. You talk about pride, and yet you let your sister walk all over you. I'm your wife, aren't I? You're supposed to have my back at least once in a while or so. I was told till death do us part. Does that ring a bell? I was a brother long before I became a husband. Don't you dare forget it. Sienna is all alone out there in the world. That's exactly when family is supposed to help each other. Oh yeah, some big help. You are leaving your wife to deal with your ridiculous family. If you really want to look after Sienna, why don't you take the kids and her out some time instead of sending them here to infest our house? You mean giving them somewhere to relax on the weekends? Isn't that why I bought this house in the first place? Plus, there's plenty of things to do. We've got a great backyard and a huge living room. I'm sure they're having a great time. And just who exactly was it that bought this house you're so proud of, huh? I seem to remember you being between jobs and suddenly not being able to take out a loan. So who paid for us to be able to live here? Yeah, it was me. Shut up already, yeah? You did something yourself for once in your life. Congrats. Don't let it get to your head, woman. Excuse me? Forget this. I've got a job to do. How about you do your job as my wife and take care of Sienna and the kids? What the heck were you thinking? Kicking me and Carter out of the house like that? Explain yourself, Parker. Right now. Oh yeah. I got a text from my sister saying that our mom was coming over a little bit ago. Oh my god. First it's Sienna. Now your mother is showing up too? Don't you think you should have told me about this before? Come on. You know, mom's birthday is at the end of the month. We're just celebrating my place. No big deal. It's our place. And of course it's a big deal. This is a matter of safety and privacy. You and Sienna both know I told you to never let your mom come over again after last time, right? Yeah, but that was ages ago. Isn't it time to grow up and move on like an adult? You need to stop getting worked up over the smallest things. Seriously, it's childlike, Miley. The littlest things? Like when she barged into the place unannounced after we just moved in and rearranged the kitchen like she owned the place? 
Or maybe you're talking about later that evening when I found her literally rummaging through my underwear drawer. Is that the kind of little thing I'm supposed to move on from and forgive her for? I know, I know, but she didn't mean anything bad by it. That's just the way she acts sometimes. It's the sort of thing her generation does. Can you at least try a hint of sympathy for my sake? Not in a million years. If I'm willing to let that woman inside my house again, I might as well just let the termites, the rats, and the ants have it too. Good lord, it's like talking to a brick wall with you sometimes. I definitely made the right call getting you out of the house. If I'm lucky, maybe you just won't come back at all. You don't want me to come back? Yeah, maybe we can finally spend some quality time as a family without the stubborn mule I call a wife around. <laughs> what was it you told Sienna the other week? Oh yeah, now I remember. Why don't you take Carter to a water park or something and get lost? Oh, just drop dead already. I can't believe you're still taking her side. If you're lucky, I won't come back. Huh? I signed the mortgage. I keep the house spotless. I buy every scrap of food in the house. And it's still not enough for you, is it? You can pull out as many pieces of paper as you want. It'll still be my house. This is the man's world, baby. And at the end of the day, you've only made it this far out of the goodness of my heart. As if you've ever had any goodness in your heart, you monster. A man's world? You must not really remember how the rest of the song went, if that's what you think. Like I'm going to let some hysterical broad be the judge of my character. I'm a model citizen, and I ought to be handed a key to the city. When a dog won't stop yapping, you make it sleep in the doghouse. You see what I'm saying, pooch? Now scram, and let me enjoy some quality family time. Unbelievable. You put your family on such a high pedestal. But what about Carter and I? Aren't we your family too? To kick us out of the house just because we're not as important? How dare you do that to me? Let alone your own son. You're the lowest of the low, Parker. You're right. I'm horrible. Meanwhile, you must be some kind of saint, turning my sister away the front gate and trying to exile my mom like she was Napoleon. We think it's about time you got a taste of your own medicine. It's for your own good, really. I'm sorry. We? Well, my mom and sister are always saying they'd love to relax without a nagging wife chasing them around. So thanks for helping me make their dreams come true. I'm glad that's all taken care of. Now it's time to party. I'll catch you on the flip side. Well, I hope you're satisfied with yourself because you won't be seeing Carter or me ever again. Wait, what? Never again? I've had enough. If that's the family you want to be with, please go ahead and enjoy yourselves. I think I'll follow in your footsteps and spend some time with people I'd rather be around. You know the kind of people who won't put me and my son out on the street. You clearly don't want me around, so let's just get divorced, right? I'd rather sign some papers than go back to that nightmare of a house. Divorce? Miley, that's not funny. Stop making jokes like that. Oh, let me assure you, I'm dead serious. We can get divorced, and I'll raise Carter myself, since you clearly have no interest in being part of his life. I'm sure we'll get along just fine without you in your fancy house. Seriously? Are you serious? You said it's a man's world, but clearly I won't have any trouble getting alone on a new place since I already did it for the old place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cool your jets, okay? Just take a deep breath and think about what you're saying for a second. For the kid's sake, I'm begging you. Trust me, I already am. Besides, Sienna got divorced, and you think she's a great mother, don't you? Yeah, but you know, that's different. Yeah, you're right. We're very different. I could never compare to her so I'll get out of your way. Why don't you just enjoy your big family party together? You guys won't have to worry about your nagging wife getting on your case anymore after all. And don't worry, you won't see me or hear from me again until I'm ready for you to sign those divorce papers. Hey, Miley. Long time no see, right? It's been a week already. You can come back home any time now. You weren't serious about leaving, were you? I tried to tell you, but let me spell it out for you. I'm gone. My parents have been very kind to Carter and I, and they're letting us stay here until I get my own place again. Like I told you that night, we'll be just fine without you. Quit yanking my chain. You've made your point about being a strong, independent woman. Now come home already. Look, I know you got worked up about my mom's birthday party, but it was just for one night, I swear. Besides, who's going to take care of this place if you're not here? 
I'm a busy guy. If you're so proud of that damn house, you should get busy cleaning it yourself. Me? That's the wife's job, though. You really think you can get away with saying things like that, even when I'm telling you I want a divorce? How stupid can you get? I'm not saying anything strange. It's a wife's job to clean up and take care of her man's things. Just the way the world works. Speaking of taking care of things, I'm on my way with the divorce papers right now. Be a dear and sign them so I can get on with my life. Okay, babe? You weren't kidding about all that? You're actually going through with all this paperwork. And I have the stuff for you to pay Carter's child support too. Don't worry, my lawyer and I put a lot of thought into how much money we believe you owe me. I'm sure Carter will feel like you're a part of his life with you paying for him to go to a nice school, if nothing else. Listen to yourself. This is crazy talk. Look, I'll do whatever it takes. Just don't do this. I can't stand the thought of you leaving me. It's a nice change of tune from you, but you're way too late. Just remember, you pushed us out of your life, literally. So you have no one to blame but yourself. That's not true. I was just... Oh, but don't take my word for it. Your own son told me he'd be fine without you in his life, if you can imagine that. Carter said that? He doesn't even care about his own father. I couldn't believe it myself. For a kid in the third grade to speak with such insight. You really are a failure of a father, and even he knows it. I think we can all agree it would be better if you stayed away from us. And we did the same for you. I'm almost at the house you love so much, so you'd better have a pen out and be ready to sign these papers. Miley, wait. Don't do this. Don't leave me. Why not? You don't seem to care about me or Carter at all. You only care about your mom and your sister. Parker, that's enough. I am so fed up with your words. And aren't your mom and sister just an opportunity for you to kick me out of the house? Now you have achieved your goal. Yo, Millie, what's all this talk about you leaving Parker? He just texted me. He's totally freaking out. Yup, the rumors are true. I can't handle being that man's verbal punching bag anymore, so I'm out. Hey, welcome to the divorce diva life, girl. If you need someone to show you the ropes, you know I've got your back. Single moms have to stick together after all. I was all alone when my ex left me, and I know how tough it can be at the start. I had to call in a lot of favors. I wouldn't call like you do. Sorry. What you did wasn't calling in favors so much as saddling everyone else, myself included, with your baggage. Well, with that attitude, I can see why you two split up. But I do actually want to thank you for leaving. Thanks to you, I get to live in this big, beautiful house of his. As soon as I heard you were dumping him, I called my landlord to cancel my lease and everything. For real? Well, without you or Carter around, the house is a lot more empty, you know. Plenty of room for me and the kids to take up now. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. The ink's barely dry on those divorce papers, and he's already replacing me with you. Um, there's nothing weird about us living together. That's how most people's families work. We're even thinking of inviting mom to come live with us. That way, we can all be one crazy big happy family together. Well, it sounds like a nice plan. Just don't get too attached to it, that's all. What's there to get attached to? We're family and we stick together. That means we're already attached to each other as it should be. I just gotta get my stuff moved in there and it'll be smooth sailing. Seriously, I can't thank you enough for freeing up all that space in there. Good luck finding a place to keep your stuff, seeing as the house is being sold. Say what? So you're selling the house? But he loves the house, and he can't stop talking about having us over all the time. Actually, I'm the one selling the house. Since we're no longer together, I don't really need it anymore. Um, but doesn't my brother, like, need it? He's got to live somewhere. My mom and the kids and I have to live somewhere. Well, there's no denying that, but it won't be at that house. See, my name is on all the paperwork. I'm what's called the homeowner, in case you don't know what that means. Wait, but I thought... You thought Parker owned it because he was the man of the house, right? He'd certainly like you to think so, but he's probably just embarrassed that his wife was paying for the house he was so proud of all by herself. That is my house, every last inch of it. No way! Why'd he go and tell us it was all his in the first place? I mean, um, talk about a girl boss, huh? Something like that, yeah. You see, Parker wanted to take out a loan to help pay for the house, but his credit tanked while he was in between jobs, so I ended up in charge of the mortgage. I'd already talked to a realtor about selling the place, so feel free to move in, but you're going to have to scram at the end of the month. Then again, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. You guys are family, and you always stick together, right? You can't be serious. That's ridiculous. I'm not going to move into that place just to get kicked out after a month. 
Mm-hmm. Better nix your current plans. Cancel that moving truck and stay in the apartment you're leasing, I'd say. I just told you, I pretty much shredded my lease today and everything. What should I do? I don't have the kind of money to take out another lease. Yeah, that is quite the pickle. Good luck with all that. You're not going to help me? So ridiculous, that's your business. Like I said, good luck with all that. You're a big girl, and I'm sure you'll land on your feet somehow. I'm going to take off. You know how busy the single mother lifestyle is. Please, I'm begging you. Come back to me, Miley. I'm a changed man. I swear, I'll never let Sienna or my mom set foot in this house again. Hell, I'll even give you my keys too. Please take me back and forget this whole divorce thing, won't you? As much as I love to see you grovel at my feet and cry, that ship has definitely sailed at this point. I told you I didn't want anything to do with you after you signed those papers. And as far as I know, I haven't turned my back on that philosophy, have I? No, come on, think about it. There's nothing to think about. You're going to be a good boy and sign every little piece of paper I send you, or else the next guest you'll be hosting is going to be my lawyer. Trust me, if you think I'm hysterical and unreasonable, you should be very, very afraid of my lawyer. Miley, please, don't do this to me. Don't do this to us. We can still work things out. We can still be happy. Besides, Miley, think about Carter. Think about our son. He needs both of us. He needs his parents to stay together. Happy? You think I was happy with you? You think I was happy being treated like a second-class citizen in my own house? You think I was happy being ignored, insulted, and betrayed by you and your family? Don't you dare bring Carter into this, Parker. Don't you dare use him as a pawn in your pathetic game. Carter is better off without you, Parker. He deserves a father who respects his mother and loves him unconditionally. Miley, please, give me another chance. I can do everything you want. Yeah, Parker. There is only one thing left for you to do. Sign the papers, Parker. Sign the papers and get out of my life. Parker was always the type of guy who seemed to lose his footing whenever his reputation was on the line. It was almost as if the fear of tarnishing his image paralyzed him from making rational decisions. So, when I mentioned my lawyer, he quickly succumbed to the pressure and complied with my instructions without any resistance. It was quite telling of his true character, revealing his weakness when faced with any threat to his public facade. Dealing with child support and going through the divorce process turned out to be surprisingly straightforward. Regardless, I was relieved by how smoothly everything progressed. I do wish he had been more helpful earlier, though. The last I heard, he and Sienna actually decided to move in together. Despite the challenges, they managed to find a small, cramped apartment to call their own. I couldn't help but chuckle at the irony of the situation, but I'm sure they don't mind. After all, they're family, and they certainly love to be together. I'm sure being in one tiny space together will be everything they hoped for and more. Getting Parker and Sienna out of my life was surprisingly effortless, almost like shooting fish in a barrel. So, it's only fair they experience a bit of tight packing, just like sardines. <laughs>